name for cotton? Nine and a half for low, midland, and ten for ordinary. Well, we got most of ours out early. Sold to the Woodson Brothers in Little Rock for 11 cents. Then I suggest you take the balance of it to the Woodson Brothers. We took the balance to Woodson. We got ten and a half. Why'd you come here to tell me this? Oh, I thought we might shop around up here next year, but I guess we're doing all right in Little Rock. I'm Maddie Ross. Daughter of Frank Ross. Oh. <laughs> Tragic thing. Now I say your father impressed me with his manly qualities. He was a close trader, but he acted the gentleman. Well, I propose to sell those ponies back to you that my father bought. Oh, that I fear is out of the question. I will see that they're shipped to you at my earliest convenience. Well, we don't want the ponies now. We don't need them. Well, that hardly concerns me. Your father bought the ponies and paid for them, and there's an end of it. I, I have the bill of sale. And I want $300 for Papa's saddle horse that was stolen from your stable. You have to take that up with a man who stole a horse. Tom Chaney stole the horse while it was in your care. You are responsible. <laughs> yeah, I admire your sand. But I believe you will find I'm not liable for such claims. You were the custodian. If you were a bank ever robbed, you could not simply tell the depositors to go hang. I do not entertain hypotheticals. The world as it is is vexing enough. Secondly, your valuation of the horse is high by about $200. How old are if you? If anything, my price is low. Hi, Judy is a fine racing mare. I've seen her jump an eight rail fence with the heavy rider. I'm 14. Oh, well, it's all very interesting. The ponies are yours. Take them. Your father's horse was stolen by a murderous criminal. I had provided reasonable protection for the creature as per our implicit agreement. My watchman had his teeth knocked out and can take only soup. Well, I will take it to law. You have no case. Lawyer J. Noble Daggett of Dardanelle, Arkansas, may think otherwise. Is might a jury. Petitioned by a widow and three small children. I will pay $200 to your father's estate when I have in my hand a letter from your lawyer absolving me of all liability from the beginning of the world to death. Take $200 for Judy plus $100 for the ponies and $25 for the gray horse that Tom Cheney left. He was easily worth $40. That is $325 total. The ponies have no part in it. I will not buy them. And the price for Judy is $325. <laughs> I would not pay $325 for a winged Pegasus. As for the gray horse, it does not belong to you. The gray horse was lent to Tom Cheney by my father. Cheney only had the use of him. I will pay $225 and keep the gray horse. I don't want the ponies. I cannot accept that. There will be no settlement after I leave this office. It will go to law. All right, this is my last offer. $250 for that. I get the release previously discussed, and I keep your father's saddle. The gray horse is not yours to sell. The saddle is not for sale. I will keep it. Lawyer Daggett will prove ownership of the gray horse. He will come after you with a writ of replevin. A what? Writ of replevin. All right, now li li listen very carefully, as I will not bargain further. I will take the ponies back and the gray horse, which is mine, and settle for $300. Now, you must take that or leave it, and I do not much care which it is. 
A lawyer, Jacob, would not wish me to consider anything under $325. But I will settle for $320 if I am given the $20 in advance. Now, here's what I have to say about that settle. 